Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following limit. So let's start with 1. Limit of 5 as x approaches 2. So the limit of any constant as x approaches any value is equal to that constant. So therefore, the value of the limit is simply 5. Next, for number 2, we have limit of x as x approaches 5. So this is another theorem. If we have the limit of x as x approaches any value, the value of the limit is simply the value of x that it approaches to, which is 5. So therefore, the final answer here is 5. For number 3, we have limit of 2x plus 5 as x approaches negative 1. So we can always try first to evaluate the given function here at the value of x that it is approaching to and check if the value exists. So if we try to evaluate 2x plus 5 at x is equal to negative 1, substitute all the x with negative 1, so we will have 2 times x which is negative 1 plus 5, 2 times negative 1 that's negative 2 plus 5, or negative 2 plus 5, that's equal to positive 3. So therefore, the value exists and it's equal to 3. For number 4, we have the limit of x squared plus x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So again, let's try to evaluate x squared plus x minus 1 at x is equal to 1. So we will have substitute all the x with 1. 1 squared plus x, which is 1. Then copy minus 1, simplifying 1 squared, that's 1, plus 1, minus 1. So 1 plus 1, that's 2, minus 1, 1. So the value exists and therefore, this will also be the limit of the function. For number 5, we have the limit of the square root of x plus 2 as x approaches 2. So again, let's try to evaluate square root of x plus 2 at x is equal to 2. So we'll have the square root of x, which is 2, plus 2, simplifying square root of 2 plus 2, or 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, the value of the limit is 2. Lastly, for number 6, we have the limit of x plus 1 over x minus 2 as x approaches negative 3. So let's try to evaluate x plus 1 over x minus 2 at x is negative 3. So we'll have negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 minus 2. So negative 3 plus 1, that's negative 2. Over negative 3 minus 2, that will be negative 5. Or negative 2 over negative 5, that will become positive 2 over 5 or 2 fifths. So this is the value of the limit. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this limit and just comment your answers.